Hey, Mr. Pulley. So you wanted to, you wanted something about this coronavirus. Oh, I'm wearing my, still wearing my Fannie Lou Hamer. Hey, by the way, this is Fannie Lou Hamer. She was an amazing woman. You know what I mean? With you, just with a lot of wisdom. You know, like I, a struggler. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you struggle. And I mean, for the struggle. You know, since you're down here in South Africa, I don't know. I shouldn't. I'm using this. My, using my, it's my ADOS hat. Let me change. Let me change button. Let's see, who do I have here? Oh, there's Gaddafi. Oh, here. This will be good for you. Okay, let me take my, while I'm talking to you. Um, I'm glad that we talked. We could talk through uh, WhatsApp, you know, because I ain't got no money, you know that. So this is the only way we can communicate. And you said that you wanted to, me to give you something so that you could put it up on your Facebook to other African young men of my perspective, like that. So, we use Patrice Lumumba. How's that? Okay, good. In fact, I might, what I do, I, I do this first part just for African brothers and sisters. I'll do two more. Well, I'll do one thing. The first thing, you have to build up your immune system, of course, you know. Family, family back over there. Um, several ways to do it. First of all, you, um, uh, you're you down there. You know, you all got San Gomez and all kinds of healers there, you know, to talk to the rosters and stuff like that. Uh, but, and you have, oh, that's right, you have moringa. You have the moringa tree. See, I use moringa bitters, okay? And you know, bitters has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So, you know, you can talk to somebody and get the, get the stuff. It's supposed to do about two ounces. And I do what I feel like doing, you know? Usually I do like maybe this much. And uh, after a while, you get used to it. That means you, you should take your sugar and salt out of your diet. Well, you do it anyway. You healthy cat. Anyway. Um, well, people don't know. Hey, first of all, you, you do it right. Because what do you do every morning? You have warm water. Um, uh, you just have warm, warm water. Sometimes you put lemon in it, right, from, from, from your trees. Then you also do, uh, you don't do cayenne pepper, but what else you do? Uh, that's what you do in the morning. You don't you don't drink uh, fizzy stuff, you know, just the, the sparkling this and and the sodas and stuff like that. So you're off to a good start. Plus you're in the in the most of the culture. So believe it or not, I told it. You know the joke. Uh, I use water, but I don't use regular water. This is what uh, 8.8 .8 pH. pH water is about I don't know, it's like seven seven five. So anything about that just means you're more alkaline, which is good. Drink a lot of water. You all have good water in Dumbaza. You know you do if they, they ain't mess it up yet, if you can get it. Because I hit it. And Alice, man, they, they cutting the water. They, they, they have a problem. If it's not the water is off, then it's electricity. is back and forth. So anyway. So uh, I don't usually do the water after the bitters. I like the bitters to go through and do their thing. So I let that happen. Um, also, I use, uh, I, use, I use the black seed tablets. I think I left some black seed oil in, in the refrigerator well you're, you're in Dumbaza you shouldn't be traveling oh by the way no you first thing you shouldn't be traveling back and forth to Alice because you have to take taxi or, or hitching and you know you shouldn't be around crowds of people this is why it's so ridiculous when everybody's trying to run to the clinic and pile up and oh this is another problem you all have you have a deep problem let me tell you what your problem is in the also culture especially down there because you're also insulated what happens is um you're like crowd up, you know. What I mean, the tax is always full. You know, come was it, was it going to be next week, a week after that? We you know the first, even the twenty fifth of the month. What's happening? Everybody gets their paycheck, and they all come. They they this crowded the banks and stuff like that. There's the biggest thing is social. That you're trying to do the social uh, distancing, whatever have you. I think what y'all should do. And this is an opportunity. Let me put it this way: the the virus is an opportunistic thing. All virus is opportunistic. Well, this means that the businesses and all the politicians are going to be opportunistic, right? Like when you see those business, when you see the, the politicians, they're all in, in a stage together. Well, they're not social distancing. It's a bad picture, you know what I mean? They, we have our president Trump. You know what I mean? What's he doing? They they make these announcements every day, and they all crowd up to the podium. The, the reporters, I don't, honestly, I don't really watch it, but you, you understand what I'm saying. Keep keep your distance. Most of the uh, most of the things in China, what happened is what we what they call intra family things. In other words, what they do is something very very stupid. Um, oh, let me see. Um, I'll leave that alone. Very very stupid because uh, what they found out in China uh, is that most of the, the the cases were intra families. In other words, the families would would not go out. They would 
it's a sort of virus that have one person have it, they would stay in instead of getting that person and quarantine that person away from the family, what they do is kept them in the family and blah, blah, blah. And this is this is historic. I read a book a long time ago, in early nights, in fact, I, I interviewed the author, Laurie Garrett, called The Coming Plague. And um, and uh, in fact, we did an audio drama in, in, in Senegal on it. Anyway, doesn't matter. And what the book is, I read, reads like a mystery. It like, reads like a murder mystery. And one of the things they, they did, like with the bubonic plague in Europe, what they did was so stupid. What they did was, uh, like the rich people, they, they, they had their little castles and they had the moat, you know what I mean? They had the, 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 the big drawer thing. <laughs> well, what they did, they, they would draw up the thing and then they would all be inside with the, um, you know, with the fleas that, that the rats had the fleas and, and like that. And of course they'd be eat, they'd be, um, they would, uh, to stay warm, they'd be sleeping with their, their, their horses and stuff like that. So of course, after a while, they all die. <laughs> so quarantining yourself with other people is not a good thing. Social distancing is probably, probably, probably good. And if somebody is really infected, then they need to be away from everybody else. Scott? Okay. This is like common sense, you know? Um, what do I have here? Oh, oh, I use uh, vitamin D, not a lot. Um, you should, especially black people, should use that. They, 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 they say five thousand I use. I use uh, one thousand I use every so often. <laughs> I mean, that's often during the day, rather than you know, all at once. Oh, by the way, uh, there's a thing. Okay, let me take the black tea brand. Okay, black. Any any liquid is probably good, good for you. It goes into your system good. But um, I do two. I suppose I do two black seeds a day, and I only come here once a day, so I do it in a day. Um, but what you should do, especially with these gel cabinets, is hold it under your tongue for a bit. It's, sub, it's called sublingually, and if when it starts to burst, it'll go under your tongue, and then you could because well, this is um, this is powder anyway, so it doesn't matter. The liquid is like that. I hold up my under my tongue a little bit, let the tablet sort of. You know, I know the 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 the, um, the acid in your stomach is going to break it up anyway, but it's just psychological for me. I feel like I'm doing something better, right? Um, also, uh, keep washing hands. You wash your hands constantly if you can. Um, this is a thing called vegetable glycerin, pure skincare. Um, but they have well, you know regular soap, no so fancy. Well, y'all y'all can't afford no fancy soap anyway. Um, but regular soap is good. But for uh, I leave the glycerin over there. Wash your hands. But what you could do is because we have aloe growing all over the place in South Africa. What you could do is take the aloe plant and and add that to your washing thing. Well, actually, if you have some rubbing alcohol and aloe together, that makes a really good hand sanitizer rather than trying to buy these commercial stuff. Oh. Let me do that so I can talk a little better. Um, so that's my pills for the morning. So I've got for the afternoon. I do other my regular stuff in the morning. Plenty of water, like I said. Okay, uh Okay, I'll talk about optimistic. Look, this is an opportunity. Really. It's an opportunity. What you could do, right, is force your politicians, for instance, let's say the pay periods, because you know every how, how do you get crowded? All the stores are crowded during pay periods. They should make a, a, a Make a thing to say, for, for instance, instead of all the social grants coming out on like the first or the fifteenth, whatever happened, stagger it. They got a computer system, so so say everybody with their names from you know the last names from whatever the letters are, whatever, then you might get it on this day. Then the next week, certain amount of people. So you you start staggering the things. So when people get their checks, they they don't all bunch in at one time to sort of thing. But that's a that's a political policy thing. I don't know if that's gonna, if y'all can even pull that off. You know, see, see what you can do. Now, let me put this way. Encourage people to budget in such a way that they don't have to be with, uh, with a bunch in a crowded situation. Uh, what else about the crowd? Oh, look. It's terrible. Closer people, the Emma Closer culture. As you well know, traditionally, you're all vegetarians. I know everybody, they got to have their meat. They got to have their meat. You're vegetarians, right? You're only supposed to eat meat on on special occasions. I know there's a funeral every weekend. There's a wedding every weekend. In fact, oh, that's a whole other thing because people get together and you're, it, I don't know, you you got a, a whole, a large road to hoe. Let me put it that way. All I'm saying is that, ooh, the funerals and all that, don't, viruses spread through through contact, uh, as, as you may or may not know, um, look, my theater company, we don't hold hands. Churches, they're all holding hands with Jesus and all the rest of that stuff. Not good, right? Uh, it, it just 
stand next to each other with a distance I will distance each other be able to let the spirit be in the middle and I don't know what, how y'all gonna do this but this whole thing you know how how y'all are then you just gotta I don't know it's, I, it's gonna be difficult that's all I can say so just try to practice sanitary kind of things uh, if somebody's infected do not quarantine them away from from the village you know we were talking about village life because you know you're doing the village organizing uh, and that kind of thing I, look it, it, Follow experts. No, don't you, you? You know how what happens? People get and they start talking to each other. Oh, honey, do this. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, listen to your tatas. That's right. Listen to your elder, the elders who know. You know, you got tatas who are just drunk sometimes. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? Listen to the elders who know. Um, uh, I guess your sangomas would be a good a good thing. Uh, your your med your medicine people would be a good thing. So. That's, I can't give any other advice. I mean, you know, your health people, they're giving their advice. Go to those experts, scientists, deal with the scientists. you got universities around. Tune into what the university people are saying who've done research and have data. You know, don't listen to rumors. You know, that's what messes up, that's what messes you up on age. You know, some old man said, hey, if you get a young girl, you know what I mean? If you, if you be boinking a young girl, you're going to be cured. Now you have this whole thing of raping you know, young girls because some it, some some old idiot, some horny old idiot started to, you understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to go so far in there. Okay, so that's it. You can chop this up the way you want, you know, if you want to put it on your Facebook for your for the African folks like that. So let me move on. Hey, let me go to my, uh, let's do reality. Okay, let me talk to my fellow Americans. <laughs> fellow Americans, look, the whole mask thing, come on now. and let, The mask thing is a courtesy if you have it, you know, not to spread it out on every, even if you have it, the problem is, the problem the problem is you have a mask. I don't say you're reinfecting. Well, you shouldn't be walking around, but you're reinfecting yourself. And even if you have a mask and you don't have it, the problem is when you're bringing through this mask, your, your immune system is being is being affected because you keep on breathing into your same carbon dioxide. You're not getting full air. In fact, if you're walking around even outside, what you should do is try to breathe through your through your nose and out through your mouth. The best way to do it, if you're an exercise person or if you're running, you understand this. There's a way that you can put your tongue on the top of your your tongue on the top of your, the roof of your mouth and basically you're breathing through your nose and you breathe out through your mouth but because your tongue is blocking it you stop breathing through your mouth you know you see so so you practice doing that that's that's all i can say to my fellow americans right and this whole mask thing is ridiculous okay but you want to spend money on masks you think it, it's psychologically it's going to help you fine and dandy right uh i just came from um uh, early this morning came from Trader Joe's. Kind of interesting because, you know, Trader Joe's is a cheap price of good quality. And the line was around the block. It took a half hour to get into the store, a little bit over a half hour. Uh, but I just wanted to experience that, so I did. Um, I didn't have to get a lot of stuff, but you know how these stores are. I got in there and they, they, they yeah, they got me. I, I bought something, some stuff for that. Well, I guess I needed everything. Um, but the thing about about that whole you know bunching up, it was interesting with Trader Joe's because of that. Trader Joe's was a different kind of a thing; it wasn't crowded anymore. You can freely move around. It was kind of interesting. So the opportunistic uh, uh, virus gave us a gave us a, another way, you know. And and that's the other thing: people need to start adjusting their habits. I call it adjusting your habits because your habits and let the habits now your habits can change. You know, you should be eating. Get off that meat, you know what I mean? Get off that stuff. You should be eating a much less more vegetables, you know, your Brussels sprouts and all that kind of stuff, you know, broccoli and all that stuff. Do that. Um, this whole thing about the hand on the face, okay, that's that's cool. Don't do not do that. What else for our fellow Americans, right? No, oh, know that the corporations and the politicians, as opportunistic as this virus is, they're even more opportunistic than the virus. So if you listen to politicians, if you listen to corporations, you know, the corporations, oh, yeah, we can't get this in. Don't believe them. Deal only with experts. And not even, and you have to have, in fact, even if you have an expert, have another expert talking about, the, you get about three or four different expert uh, angles before you make a decision, informed decisions, okay? You got the internet, just do some research, right? But if it's coming from some idiot, you'll know it, okay? I read something about some blood thing and they was doing, even the scientists were saying this and that. I'm going like, this is incomplete because the blood types they're using, they're not saying A positive, A negative. They're just saying a po all A blood type is more susceptible. It doesn't even matter if you're susceptible or not. The thing is, if you're in a, a city like this and you have you have steel poles or even, I just came from the barbershop. You know, I'm sure that his little thing, they, 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 well, it didn't last that long, I guess. But my point is, you are exposed. If you're in a city, if you're in any kind of, you are exposed, okay? 
just beware. You know, my my temperature yesterday was uh, 98.2. The normal for is 98.6. Okay, so just beware. If you feel like a rise, you you a rise in like a fever. There's some. Oh, oh oh, let me go back. I have to go back to South Africa for a while. Like in South Africa. Sometimes they have colds and they call it flu. They have these, like they'll take a thing called grandpa, like, you know, like an aspirin like that and put it in there, put it in um, a stony, right? And and that, and that and they'll think that that's a, that's a tonic that would, that would clear the well. The, the sugar and all the rest of that stuff, stay away from the sugar, baby, the carbureted beverages, just the straight water. Uh, if you can get some fresh pressed juices, you know, forget juice. Just take a, a, a regular, it, take the orange, eat the orange, right? <laughs> the apple, eat the apple. You can do it, pressing it, right? Carrot, <laughs> do, do on a carrot, okay? That, that's, so do it that way. Um, so my fellow Americans, just know you're going to be ripped off, okay? If so, the, the, the politicians, they going whatever they're proposing, you know, some some money for people, whatever have you, it ain't going to work. When I say it's going to work, but it's not going to work for the downtrodden. I'm, I'm I guess I'm speaking to the downtrodden. All Americans not downtrodden, but you understand what I'm saying, okay? So that's for the Americans. Oh, now let's go to my peoples. ADOS. My ADOS brothers and sisters. This is my tribe, right? Political tribe, right? Of course, you know, I'm, I'm a lot of things, but politically, I follow ADOS. Politically, we have an opportunity. As you know, Biden is as, Biden is as bad as, as Trump, you know. You know uh, br oh, so let me just say this real quick. Hey, buddy, some people are upset over Bernie. Well, let me say something about America. America is gangster, okay? America has always been gangster. In fact, it was, then it was redefined. For, they, first, they had individual gangsters. And then about the turn of the last century, turn of the 19th century, then we had those Robert Barron. Then they had like organ, really organized gangsters. And then the corporations came, and then they had really organized gangsters. In fact, Woodrow Wilson, he's the one that said the business of America is business. The corporation was jockeying them. And then came with the banksters. The banksters or the gangster gangsters, right? Look what happened. Look what happened. Okay. I'm going to get there. So the problem with Bernie is that he wasn't gangster. So I'm sorry. Look, can I just, let me, say, let me, let me talk to our brother, uh, Killer Mike. Killer Mike, you should have known. That boy not gangster, man. He couldn't do nothing. Okay? He just not gangster. Right? And so it's all over. I'm sorry you had to spend all your time trying to convince some people. I guess it was good speech opportunities for you. You know me. But that's the way it go. You know? Uh, okay, remember back to my ADS people. Now we have an opportunity. There's two things, okay? Two things. They, remember, you listen to Yvette and, 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 and Tony, they'll tell you, they'll tell you stuff, da da da. But when they want to give this UBI, whatever, going some relief to, to to folks, right? As ADS, first we should, we should say, oh, we'll take the relief, no problem, no problem. But we're ADS, we're special. What we want, along with this relief, is a debt jubilee. It does no good for us to get money and then we just got to spend it on debts and like everybody else. No, we want a debt jubilee. Debts are forgiven. Okay, what the debt is? Debts forgiven. That's one thing. The other thing, this whole election thing, you understand. We, we're voting down ballot. We got that straight, right? But here's the thing with the elections. This is an opportunity for us to actually have real data. Let me talk to Antonio. Antonio. Antonio Moore. Come on now. You want data? Here's what you want. We write in ADOS for whether it's Biden, Trump, just write ADOS in up there, right? That gets counted. So we will have real data of people of our of ADOS of the core people as well as if in fact people who are who want, want to be our allies or you know tangential people. They can come in to write in, you know, you don't agree with this stuff rather than trying to get another candidate, or something like that, because you know the core write in ADOS. And, and that goes for anything on that ballot. We gotta vote. We got to vote. Now, I'm not talking about the primaries now because the primaries are done, right? I'm talking every opportunity you get with a thing is go to the polls, write ADOS. ADOS. Then we can have it. Then we'll have the government, the government, <laughs> we'll have an official count of how many people are down with ADOS in a, in a, in a sort of way. You know, you all, look, y'all can figure it out because we smart. We ADOS. So that's it for me. T. From the past, is taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. In these times, these troubling times, trying times, as um, as uh, 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 our sister Roberta Flack would say, would sing, I should say.